The RU7100 series from Samsung offered the best input lag times we've seen on a TV so far this year, but it was missing a feature that would have made it perhaps the best budget-minded gaming TV out there. Well, this one might just be it. Hi, I'm Carl with Apt, and this is the RU8000 series from Samsung, and so far, this is the gaming TV to beat for 2019. It takes those phenomenal lag times we saw on the RU7100 and adds FreeSync capabilities. Now, to be fair, as of the filming of this video, we haven't gotten all the models in from every brand we carry yet, but this one's gonna be a tough one to top as far as value is concerned. The design isn't really anything ever revolutionary, but it still looks good. It's edge lit and very thin. The bezel's minimal and stays out of the way when you're watching content. And the pedestal's similar in style to what you'll find on the Q80R with two flat feet. The cable management on the 8000 though is not the same quality. It's not built into the pedestal like it is on the Q80. It's just a single clip that fits on the back and holds about two cables comfortably. But that's one of those areas where a small sacrifice is gonna save you some money and go almost unnoticed. Also on the back are the inputs. You get four HDMIs, two USBs, Ethernet, antenna, and RS-232C to go along with an optical audio output, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. The RU8000 also comes with the Samsung One remote, just like the higher-end QLED models. And it works just as well on this one as it does on those. Moving through the menus in the Smart Hub was fast and easy, and you have your choice of using voice commands or the navigation buttons. Now, Voice commands, again, just like the QLEDs, can be done right out of the box with Bixby. But it's not limited to just Bixby this year. Most of Samsung's 2019 TVs, RU8000 included, will also work with Google Home or Amazon Alexa with the addition of a corresponding device like a Home Mini or an Echo Dot. The only thing missing from the Smart Hub that you do get on the QLEDs is ambient mode, which, while being very interesting, isn't something I see a ton of people missing. What are your thoughts on ambient mode? Do you like it? Is it something you'd use? Make sure you let us know in the comments. And in case you didn't know, we are an authorized dealer for all the brands you see in these videos, including Samsung. So if you wanna see any of our current prices or promotions, just click on the links down in the description. Now, as far as the picture's concerned, I was really happy with this one. Colors I felt were just like all the other Samsungs we've looked at this year, a little oversaturated right out of the box, but that can be corrected in a couple of different ways. You can either choose one of several preset picture profiles or you can go into the expert settings and adjust them to your liking in there. I was happy just putting this in natural mode without making any other adjustments. HDR also looked decent for a more reasonably priced TV too. Details in the dark and bright areas showed up as I thought they should. They're not to the levels of a QLED, but they were respectable for a middle of the road 4K TV. And motion was handled well too. This one actually gets a bump in the motion processing, which helped in keeping faster action looking natural. Off angle viewing was okay too, nothing to really brag about, but it seems better than last year's NU8000 model. You still lose brightness and color quality quicker than you do on the QLEDs, but again, that's one of the areas where you're going to save a little bit of money by sacrificing a little. Gaming, like I mentioned at the beginning, is gonna be great on this set. The input lag times, just like on the RU7100, were extremely quick. And with the RU8000, you do get that added benefit of FreeSync to help with tearing. All in a TV that's reasonably priced considering the picture quality and features. So if you're looking for a great TV for both gaming and normal viewing that's more reasonably priced than an OLED or a QLED, make sure you check out the RU8000. As always, we appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.